Electrical fires and which extinguishers are best suited to tackle them? Electrical fires can be tricky. You see, often it's misunderstood about which sort of things are included with these types of fires. And also, which sort of extinguishers should be used to extinguish them? So today, we'll break it down into which items are included with this classification. What are the likely causes to start an electrical fire? What warning signs you can look out for for an impeding electrical fire? We'll also highlight which are the wrong extinguishers to use for this type of fire and which ones are the best ones to use. So let's begin. First, let's explore the type of items that could be the source of electrical fire. Electrical fires are fires that can be started from items, devices or appliances which may include kitchen appliances such as ovens, fridges, freezers, air fryers, microwaves and toasters. Other appliances can include things like washing machines, tumble dryers, dishwashers, even air conditioning units. Further electrical items in the home that could cause a fire include plug sockets, wiring, consumer boards, otherwise known as fuse boxes, extension leads and cables, device chargers, electrical fittings, electrical shavers, hair dryers, and electrical blankets. Now you might have noticed I've not included items that run on lithium batteries, and this is for a good reason. Now lithium batteries, as you may well be aware, are very volatile and self-oxidizing when on fire. So we highly recommend to keep away from any devices that have lithium batteries, such as e-scooters or e-bikes, if they're on fire. So even with specialist certified lithium battery extinguishers, they should only be tackled by professionals with the correct training. Now the reasons why the examples outlined so far can cause a fire can be down to a few common reasons. Damaged wiring. Electrical wires can become worn or frayed over a period of time. Now this can be the case for anything such as chargers, cables, appliances and devices. Old wiring. Such as in old homes or devices and appliances. You see they may not be made up to the same modern standards and regulations that we have today and therefore cause a potential fire risk. Overloaded sockets. You see, high wattage items need to have their own socket. If you do have multiple items put into a single socket, that can cause a power overload, and as a result, can be a risk of fire. Counterfeits. Always make sure your appliances have the British or European safety regulations marked. Additionally, only use manufacturer's approved chargers for your devices. Size to look out for for an impeding electrical fire include scorch marks a burning smell, or a hot plug or socket, flickering lights, fuses blowing or circuits tripping without any obvious reason. So if you discover any of these signs, immediately stop the delivery of electricity either by unplugging or switching off the sockets. Look for a professional qualified electrician to fix the wiring or to replace the faulty appliance. So despite knowing all the signs and having the confidence in your appliances, there is still a risk of fire. So having a fire extinguisher that can tackle electrical fires as they start, before they get too large, can make all the difference. Extinguishers to avoid are those that are conductive, such as water-based or foam extinguishers. Traditional pressurised extinguishers that are certified for electrical fires include CO2 and dry powder. CO2 is a very good extinguisher for electrical fires, and it leaves no mess. But it can be potentially dangerous in confined spaces, as it affects the breathable oxygen. Now dry powder is another good extinguisher for electrical fires. However, it does leave a corrosive mess and it should not be used indoors due to its impact on breathing, but also vision restricting escape. However, there's a new type of fire extinguisher which is certified for electrical fires, but also classes A, B, C and F. It doesn't leave a corrosive mess and it's safe to breathe in. It's called the fire safety stick. Our fire extinguisher is meant for those people that want a compact extinguisher for small fires before they get too large, but without the worry of picking up the wrong extinguisher and making the fire worse. Our extinguisher has a 15 year shelf life with a minimum 50 second discharge time. Now that's far longer than most other extinguishers. And once again, it leaves no corrosive mess and it's safe to breathe in. It's already in homes all across the country, stopping a range of fires from burning bacon butters to chimney flue fires. Additionally, if the fire is too big and well established, once activated, 
The fire safety stick is the only product that can be left in a confined space to continue to repress the fire, whilst you and your family have escaped to safety, meaning the fire services potentially have a much smaller fire when they arrive. So if you're interested, you can find out much more information about the fire safety stick on our website with the links below, as well as a link to over 300 distributors across the UK and Ireland. Well, we hope you've learned a thing or two and feel a little bit more safer about the potential risks of electrical fires in the home. So to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you get notified the next time we upload a video. So until the next one, stay safe.